I'm uh, happy to be here. Great, great, great. So before I come to Kweko for the word from Asamwa, Jan, uh, what do we know about the case as, as, as it stands, Sammy? All right, thank you once again. What we know is that um, yesterday Asamwa Jan released a statement uh, ostensibly to stay away from the national team for AFCON 2019 and then retire entirely from the senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana. Um, reasons were adduced in the statement. Um, big point, apart from consultation with family members, apart from he not being happy, apart from what his mother told him some time ago, which he doesn't still understand, mm -hmm. is this line I want to read to our cherished listeners. Um, if the decision of the coach is to give captaincy of the of the tournament as a, a contained in the statement yes, yes. Uh, to another player while i am still in the a member of the team i wish to recuse myself from the tournament i also wish to retire from the national team permanently okay all right so the reason that he gave is that the captaincy has been given to someone else okay so this is what i know okay that the coach of the senior national team mm -hmm. Pia, mm -hmm. had called asamojan okay just this sunday i think over the weekend um to tell him that as for the tournament he will go he will send him to egypt you know there have been arguments and discussions around his fitness talking of Asamoah Gyan okay. because he suffered some injury situations over over the season mm. and has played l fewer games. Uh, he just got, started scoring two, three weeks ago and over the weekend, he scored a goal. Um, so, from a technical point of view, I, I want to say that we can say he has recovered in time for the tournament okay which should be a <laughs> should be good news for all okay. of us and so the coach calls him and for from his point he thought the coach was even going to congratulate him for scoring and getting ready for that only to be told that he Kwesiapia, wants Asamojan to come out publicly to announce that his relinquishing or leaving the captaincy to another player in the team. Do we know which player? Names have been mentioned. Okay. They, they are you, Pate. So, okay. I want to say that. Okay. I have not confirmed that bit. Which person is which going person to be? But what we know is that they want him to relinquish the captain. Because Siapia told him to come out and say that I will not be the captain for the tournament. Okay. You know. Okay. And so... So, that's where we are now. That's where we are now. Um, other Greenville stories have come. Be before I came to I come to those details, I mean, le let me come to uh, Kweku. Since you speak officially for Asamoa Jan, can you confirm that Coach Kwesi Apia called Jan and asked him to step aside for someone else or announce publicly that he will not be captain? Exactly so. That I mean, happened. He, he when did, did call him happen? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, he, immediately after his game, he had a call from, from the coach. Uh, he thought he was calling to maybe congratulate him after scoring, but rather to find out that he was asking him to uh, come public, do an announcement telling the whole of Ghana that he is not ready to wear the armband again, but then he wants to uh, give it to the deputy captain, the Dayu, as they are preparing for the AFCON. It never ended there. Kosi Apia also asked him to sleep over it and then come back again when he considers it prudent to release the armband to uh, the skipper or the deputy captain. Mm, mm. So, upon a series of consultations with the family, and the friends, uh, we arrived that he should call back with you again and tell him uh, to find out whether, uh, where exactly the decision was coming from. Earlier, uh, somewhere on the 10th of May 2019, we had a report on Ghana Web that uh, stated Kwesi's plan uh, for Samojan going to AFCON. But there is this purported plan. Purported plan. Okay. And so there was this uh, prophetic gimmick inside this. Um, um, statement. statement. And if you can permit me, I can Go read ahead. just a session of it. Uh, AFCON 2019, Akwesi Apia drops a Samoa Jan with a question mark. 
And then if you come to the content of the letter, Blaster Skipper Samojan could be dropped from the 23-man contingent for the 2019 African Cup of Nations in Egypt, Akwesia Pia has hinted. This came to light when some journalists visited uh, the coach uh, with a prophet at his private residence in Kumase. The prophet, name withheld, had gone to tell the coach that he had had a vision that Asamojan and Andrew Dede Ayu was returning from Egypt, leading the national team with the African Cup that they had won for the country. Uh, the conclusion okay, part, but this is a prophet. Okay, that, that should be a prophecy sort of thing. But in the statement he gave to Asamojan, he said he had gotten a secret information saying that when the captain's armband is handed over to Didayu, definitely Ghana will come home with a trophy. Secret information from where? From where? That is the question we are all putting And that's what, that's what you can say on the record that Chrissy Apia told Asamojan, I'm dropping you from the captaincy because of secret information. I from what? Yes, I gather. From what I gather. From what you gather, yeah. Uh, do from Asamoja, from Asamoja, yeah. Do we have any word from Kwesi Apia, Sami? You see, Kwesi Apia is not talking now. Um, I have spoken to people who have gotten in touch with him, and he's preaching unity in the team. You know, for being his reason for asking Asamoja to give the captaincy. Now, name has been mentioned, they dare you mm. for the tournament. Mm. You know, so point though is that who decides who wears a captain, captain's armband in a team is the coach. Exactly. In 2013, exactly. he gave it to Asamoah Jan. My worry though is why can't we say that I'm changing the leadership of the national team? So, okay, so Asamoah stay aside. I'm now giving it to um, they dare they dare you, you. That's because from be what we have and what uh, Kwaku. Kwaku Bing has said, what the coach told Asamoja is that I'm making you a general captain of the senior national team for this tournament. General then, captain? General mm -hmm. captain. What does that even mean? Okay, no. <laughs> more, more, more often than not, it happens. You okay. know, John Mensa became a general captain of a team. So if you like, in my own coin, it's a playing captain on the field of play. Okay. Whoever wears a captain may not necessarily be the general captain. So, for instance, if the general captain has not been fielded, you know, for the for a ninety minute game, mm -hmm. or at any time, T first have you know normally players are substituted and all. So if I'm not in as a general captain, then whoever is playing, I can select one of them because the rule be says captain. that there should be a, a identifiable captain. captain on the field. So, so if he goes to the pitch, he becomes captain. If of, he's up the pitch, then see, someone else. From what he 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 is purported to have told us some that he will never wear the captain's armband during this tournament. So even if the day is not filled, it, the 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 band goes to Wakasu Mubarak. Interesting. Um, Sami. So Gary Al Smith has joined us. Okay, all right. On the line. So we'll get um Gary's insight into this. Gary, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Gary, please reposition yourself. We are getting some feedback on the line. Um, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? It's better now, uh, but it can be better. In the first place, okay. Gary, we have been counting down with, you know, the Joy Afcon podcast and the Joy Afcon minutes. We've been watching the squads closely. Did we see yes. this coming? Um, no, we, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Yeah, I remember the last time that Ghana was was discussed on the podcast. It was almost unanimous that Asamajan will stay in the team. Considering what we're looking forward to, what does this move mean for the strength of the Black Stars going into the tournament? Um, I think undoubtedly it does deplete the, the strength of the Black Stars because if you um, remember, like we alluded on the podcast on Friday, which is when we put out what we thought was our own 26-man squad, the inclusion of Jan was predicated on the fact that as bad as our striking situation is, a half-fit Jan as he currently is, is one of our better options going into the tournament. And so that is essentially what it is. If you look beyond us, imagine the names that will appear on a potential provisional man squad are not exactly what you would call inspiring. So to answer your question directly, yes, his exclusion, uh, whatever it is, his decision not to be part of the team gives Ghana a bit of a problem going forward. Of course, there's always a situation where somebody can stand up 
MB counter, somebody can stand, you know, up to the plate. But at the moment, it's it's a bit of a problem because of his experience and because of his sheer conversion rate, you know, when he plays for the Black Stars, whether injured or otherwise. Gary, I'll come to you for you to tell us what our options are. But let me come to Kweku. Now, you speak for Asamojan. We've heard how it can affect the team. We've heard the events leading up to it, some of which you have confirmed. Why would you leave the team? Well, um, I think it, it's coming from the circumstances where we have got into. Because like uh, Sami um, said, Kosiapia is the head coach of the national team. Mm-hmm. He has the power to appoint a captain and to disappoint the captain. But the mood in which he has done with Asamojan, I mean, after hinting that this probably is going to be his final tournament, and having served for about 15 years for the country, he thought that it could have been a better way of saying bye bye to the national team than this particular um, tournament or moment. Like what happened to um, John Mensah? In John Mensah's time and case, John Mensah was not part of the team that was traveling for the tournament, he was unattached as well. But this particular moment, Samojan is part of the team. He's playing well, he's scoring, and you are impressing upon him to come public and state that I, the captain of the team, want to leave my captain's armband to the deputy. I think that it is total disrespect to the player. That is why we have finally concluded on this particular decision. How many games has he played this season? Uh, this season for club, he has played about nine. He has scored three and uh, four goals in a particular friendly game after his recovery. That's about in a span of two, three weeks. So, out of a possible about 30 to 40 games, he's played nine. Mm. No, fact is, it has not been his best season because of injury. And yeah, no, we understand and fitness is a key issue when you are going into the outcome. Yeah, so from where I say it, I'm saying that he's recovering or as Gary put it, a half fit as Samuel Jan. It may not be the best technical decision to take, but you see, you know, in, in the last Afghan that we played and he, he scored against Algeria, he had malaria. Yeah. He was not fit. Yeah. But I mean, again, so I'm see. saying that I'm saying that he can be part of the team. And from all intents and purposes, Kwesiapia was or it was going to take from now. I can say was because the man says I won't be part of the team. Exactly. Was going to take him to Egypt. Exactly. You know. So so now Kweku, it's down to Asamoja. It's, it's now Asamoja yeah, who so has denied is, us Asamoja. Right. Well, well, we can say that, but I'm saying that my 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 pain for somebody who has paid his dues. Uh, I'm thinking, and I've said this to Kweku that in the interest of the state, a Samoa, yes, how however betrayed you feel, however painful the whole situation is, I think the interest of the state rise supreme, and. You, 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 yes, you are being denied of a captaincy role. There are other ways you can contribute effectively and achieve results for the state. So, well, uh, I don't want to judge him, but I'm seriously disappointed by this decision because it's not as if you are incapable to go. You are from where 70 80 percent fit now mm. to play in the tournament. Mm. This is a tournament we want to win at all costs. Or so the, the objective for Kwesiapia is a go and win. We've heard Dr. Kofi Amwa on Adum TV saying that if he doesn't win this tournament, his contract will not be renewed. You know, there are far reaching implications, not just for Kwesiapia, not for Kwesiapia, but for the rest of for us, the as rest Ghanians. of us Ghanaians who follow the game. See. Um, I think this could have been managed better. But, but Kweku, isn't it really down to one man who feels slighted and because of that he says he won't play again? Well, uh, we are not looking at it that way. Uh, we think that uh, the way it was communicated is the problem. Because if Kwesi had come out clearly to do his own press conference or publication that uh, going to AFCON, I'm now relieving you of your duties as a captain we didn't have maybe gotten to this particular state but if you force the captain of the team to come public and say that i'm relieving myself of my duties and now i'm giving my position to the deputy captain as and when we are going to the afghan i think that is where the bit of misunderstanding is coming from i think kwesi has triggered all these i mean if it he had managed the communication well, he wouldn't have gotten to this stage. So you're admitting that the resignation of Asamoah is because of Kwesiapia's behavior? Exactly so. 
Exactly so. But you are denying 29.3 million Ghanaians over one man's phone call. Mm. Well, we can, we can also look at it from that particular angle. But this is football. I mean, you play with passion. You are going to a tournament where the ultimate aim is to bring the trophy. And as a captain, you might have had your own plan, projections, going into that particular tournament. So suddenly, you get a call from your head coach telling you to come and do a public pronouncement. It has never happened in the history of our game. So we see it well, as see, very, very dicey. You, you won't know if it has happened. Let, let, let's well, be well, fair. Well, maybe in a situation yeah. of John Mensah, in 2013, when he asked, he gave the competency. Maybe I've sold John yeah. the same. We don't know. We don't know if we it has know, happened. But, mm. well, really. Yes. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Sammy says, but well, we know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah. uh, um, l- let me come back to Gary and put that question that I had to him. So, Gary, like I said, the analysis has been ongoing. We are still counting. I think we have uh, some 30 odd days. 31. 31 days. Yes. Uh, what can Ghana do now? What can Ghana do? <laughs> Get your best material as it is and, and make sure they are motivated enough to do the job. Because as my boss, Samir Inchi, there always likes to say, I mean, you can have stars on a team, but nobody is really irreplaceable. They can, somebody can be found who can do, maybe not as well as you can, you know, but there can be somebody who can do the job. What do I mean by that? So, as of two or three days ago, uh, on Monday, yesterday, when we expected that the squad was going to be announced, and all these came up, Kusiapi at least has a few days or a few hours to rejig his team to such an extent that the midfield, as we've known for quite about a decade now, has been the major contributor of goals to the team. Get people who can actually score goals in the midfield, and then maybe if the plan was to get Asamoah plus two or three others. Now, look at the fact that Asamoah is not there. Reevaluate whichever striking options are available and to get the best out of, out of whoever will be going there. Because the fact of the matter is that the 23 other teams that are coming may not also have somebody as historically prolific as Asamoah has been and is. But there's a team that will go to the semi-final that will definitely not a striker have a striker in the cali- a, a, stri- a striker in the caliber of Asamoah but it will be there you know so there are many ways to kill the cat right now the situation has occurred let's move forward and look at how we can save the situation however however and as I as I wrote in my piece last night on my journal line you see what hurts is that this thing that Asamoah has done it's not just going to be a simple matter as I've enumerated. Oh, he has, he has decided to go. Let's move on. No. Unfortunately, the power or the influence that he and his deputy captain wield in the team, as everybody around the table there will tell you and to our listeners, is that the two of them have, I don't want to use the word factions, but they have, they have people who are, should I say, loyal to them, you know, in the team. And so... Right now, if if what we know is what is going to happen, assuming Christian Pia is actually going to give the captaincy to Andre Ayu, what exactly is that going to do to the state of the team? And by that I mean, look, the fact of the matter again is that Andre Ayu has never hidden his desire to be captain of the national team ever since he won the under-20 World Cup in, in, in 2009. And... I think that we will be we will be sweeping matters under the carpet if we say that the the way and manner in which Andre has chased this captaincy means that factions have come in the team because he and John have always had a power tussle. So, so I don't so want Gary, to go into yes, Gary, I don't want to go into whether it is right or wrong. The fact of the matter is that it is a fact. The two of them have loyal loyalists in the team. We know when Andre comes to town, he has a certain number of boys that he used he, he normally hangs around as a man came into the studio JFM studio two years ago when he scored his 50th goal Lexis Bill hosted him and, and, and celebrated him with a cake and all that Lexis Bill asked him so what is your relationship with Andre Ayu you know what he said he said Andre Ayu is my guy but he's not somebody that I will come to Accra and call and let's go and have a drink or let's go and do this and let's do and do that the implication was clear they are not friends and so right now that John's loyalist in the team will feel that say you have hounded the guy out, now you have got the captaincy. Let's 
go and win the trophy and let's see. That is what my mm. problem right now is. Mm. The sour taste it will leave. That is what my problem is. And for Kwesi Apia, good luck to him in managing those ones. Wow. So, um, I'm remembering Roberto Mancini versus Carlos Tevez back in Manchester City. There's a recent case of Paul Pogba versus Jose Mourinho. And, Sami, in all of these cases, the coach loses out. Yes, because you need a team to play for you. And when the results are achieved, you, the coach, I mean, you stand tall. Uh, you are the person who is praised for winning or getting whatever set target you've set for yourself. My, I share the discomfort Gary mentions, the disunity or the bridges that are going to be created in the team. Because, yes, the issue of constituencies in the team, they became the two power blocks within the team. You Andrea, know, Plavi, you, you, Plavi, you remember Plavi? Mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm. the third Serbian Go coach the who came. Yeah, you know, mention this, aside the disunity and the camps in the team, uh, it is real, and I wish uh, we, we wouldn't have gotten here. It is highly unfortunate, well. but um, yes, as guy, it's left to be seen how crazy him who put himself. It's, it's so avoidable. Exactly. It's so, so avoidable. That's right. That's but right. So avoidable. avoidable on whose side, the guy? Avoidable on his part as who? a coach. Crazy up here. Exactly. But, yes. but can we exactly. Put, but can we pin this on Kwesi Apia? I, I don't want to sound like his apologist here on the show. But a, in saying, the end, the one who took the decision is Asamoah Gyan. Yes, but what happened? Something triggered it. Triggered it. You know, why would... Because I'm saying that I made you, Daniel Dazi, the captain of the team. I have the power, authority, I'm the sole decider to select another leader for the team. So go ahead. What is this? Come and announce... You see, it's an option oh. he chose to manage oh. the situation. Oh. And it wasn't the best option as far as I am concerned. I'm not I'm not holding any brief uh, or supporting Asamojan. I like him as a footballer. I like whatever he has achieved. He is a good footballer when he is in his elements. He is. We cannot I mean he is how many goals? Fifty one, Gary? Yeah, 51. Yes, fifty one in one oh six. He's a uh, Top scorer. That's about a goal every other every, game. Every other That's an insane uh-huh. amount anywhere in the world. That's right. So I'm saying that. Do we need him? We need him. So if you don't want him to be captain, just say so. As someone <laughs> finished. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm moving. I'm changing that. See, and giving this to no, 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 no counts. No, no. I don't have anything against the day are you he has led our national under 20 team to the same Egypt to win a world cup he has his pluses he has his weaknesses we all share we are all human beings but i'm saying that he's going to put a lot of pressure on the day you should you go ahead and give the captaincy ban to the day and whoever wears it really whoever whoever wears it not 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 entirely can we get a compromise candidate not entirely can we get a compromise candidate Yes, yes, yes. That candidate be able to like who? Gary, give me a name. Oh, name Patis. So yesterday, yesterday. Unfortunately, Amati is not in the team. I would have given it to Amati. Gary, Gary, just a second. Uh, Sammy, I want you to make that point for me. No, I'm saying that Patis' name has come up. I'm so. It's unfortunate Amati is not in the team because of injury. I would have given it to Amati and sidelined the two of them. Gary, how about you? Um, yesterday we put a poll out just to test this theory. You know that in the absence of Jan. Who would they want to be the team? And we put out the two sure names we know are going to the AFCON, at, at least in terms of uh, those who have been the captains recently. Andre Ayu as deputy, and even when Andre has not been around, Thomas Pate. To my surprise, Pate was quite close in terms of 50 50. So, public wise, people feel like, you know what? This Jan and Andre thing, it's played out for a long time. We are tired of this kerfuffle. You know what? Let's give it to, as it were, a neutral person. Captaincy won't kill anybody. Let's give it to a neutral person. And me, honestly, I think that the captaincy should not be given to Andre Ayu. Why? Because of the reasons we have enumerated. The power blocks exist. Anybody who tells you that does not want to be honest with you, Daniel. But then again, Gary, it was a 50-50. It was a 50-50 vote. Yes. So I'd rather go for the safer option. Okay. Uh, I'm coming back to you, Kweku. So um, how does he feel now? When was the last time he spoke to Asamoah? Uh, just yesterday. 
pardon? Yesterday. You spoke to him yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. What were yeah. his words? How, how does he feel? Uh, he doesn't feel comfortable playing for the national team again because we impressed upon him to uh, get a second thought over the decision. And he feels that there are a couple of other issues when he gets the opportunity, he would probably eliminate to Ghanaians for Ghanaians to know what actually has gone down the, the, the line for such a decision to come out. I had opportunity to listen to a couple of voices he played for me to, to listen. Those are not for radio consumption, so I might not be in a very good position to be saying it. But when he comes on there, definitely he will be in a poor position. But whose say, voices are there? Uh, there are a couple of um, players, um, technical handlers, a couple of discussions with him that are supposed to be secret. But they are part of the reasons why we are here now. Yeah, See, let me hazard a guess, and it's a it's a concrete guess. Is there anything like that? <laughs> why <laughs> why Kwesi will try to do something like this? Um, there have been calls for exclusion of Asamoja in this team for this tournament. Yes, I have heard those calls. Okay, so maybe it is a way to push the gentleman to say that get him angry. And then he will drop. This may be a calculated attempt to get him out. Did you get the sense from him quickly that he feels he's being hounded out of the team? Uh, he felt something was, I mean, in the in the pipeline coming uh, for some time now. Because whenever you want to get close and find out what actually is happening, he says uh, in all his attempt to get close to Kasi has just not been fruitful like it used to be. And other management members of the FA2 a couple of times you want to get close and see what actually is happening with the team but when you try calling nobody tries to pick up your your line so it gave the signal that something fishy is happening uh, in the call up have you ever had reason to believe that Kwesia Pia does not like Asamojan? Uh, not at all not at all because he appointed him as the captain of the of the side so what is this Kwesia Pia is a very principled person if you knew him very principled. So what do you he think knows is happening what on the doing. other side? What is it? What, is, what do you think is happening on that, the other that side? That is what we... On the other side, as in? As on Kwesi Apia's side. We've been talking about... He wants to win the tournament. He believes from whichever angle that I don't want Asamoah to be he captain. Can, he can't do that with Asamoah as captain. As captain. Do, so you what, think, uh, Kweku, do you think, not Asamoah, do you think that we can win this with Asamoah as captain? Of course, yes, we can. But we can. Winning this tournament is not is not going to be given on a silver platter. It's mm. not going to come easy. It's, it's not cast in stone that mm. Ghana, this trophy was going to be handed to us uh, without fighting or working hard for it. All the other 23 countries who are yeah. coming. Yeah. yeah, and they are all coming to fight. <laughs> yeah. They are all coming to fight for the, 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 the silverware. So yeah. really, uh, it's not as if, if I put uh, Asamoah as captain, automatically we're going to win the tournament. Okay, we've been talking for close to 25 minutes. I want to bring in listeners on this one now. Um, mm. t- are you convinced by what you've heard specifically from Asamoah representative in Studio Kweku or Bing? Kweku just spoke to Asamoah last night. And I want to ask if you are convinced by the reasons that Asamoah has given us for his resignation. And on the back of that, are you confident of our chances in Egypt? 0302-216-541-0244-340-437-0244-340-437. At Joy997FM is the Twitter handle. Joy99.7FM is the Facebook page. You can also send me a WhatsApp and Telegram message on 0244-340-437. Kweku is Asamajan's spokesman. And he has said that it is all down to how Kwesia Pia communicated with Asamajan last Sunday. Sure. about the captaincy. Kwesi Apia called Asamoah asked him to announce publicly that he's stepping aside from the captaincy role. Yeah. And that's rubbed Asamoah in the wrong way and Asamoah decided to step aside from the team entirely. Now, that suggestion has already been made in the statements that Asamoah put out. Oh. And when Kweku spoke with Asamoah yesterday, he said that the man is unhappy specifically about what Kwesi Apia has done. So, I want to ask you, do you think this is reason enough for Asamoah to decide not to play for the Black Stars anymore? And what are the options available for us now? Are we confident that we'll win in Egypt? Charles is my first caller. He's calling from Sotium. Good morning. 
Hello, good morning, Dante. Yes, so I've asked two questions. Answer me. Yeah, I think the right over there is making serious allegations about a conversation which we thought to be a private conversation between Christopher and Asamwajan. I don't think it's right for him to be coming out with such issues. You know, we were in this country when the captain, uh, the captain was taken from John Mensah, given to Asamwajan. We didn't hear any word from John Mensah. We went to the tournament and we were knocked out from the semi-finals or so. And we came back and Asamwajan was still the captain. He came to meet players such as Sule Mutari, ACN and Co. But they all kept quiet and he handled the team. This is the case that you, we, we've seen it with, with the Belgium national team. They now came to meet Vincent Company. Company is having injury issues. But still, he, 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 he allowed uh, uh, Hazard to be the captain of the national team. He, he, he allowed Hazard to be the uh, captain of the national team. So what was this problem with Hazard right now? It was, it was, let, me, let, let me make this point here before we finally, before I move on to Ose. You see, okay. Kweku is here as a Samajan spokesperson. He has been yes. sanctioned to make full disclosure on any issue that Asamwajan wants to be made public. Asamwajan has also referred to the issue of his captaincy in his official statement. So we can't fault Kweku for saying what the person he speaks for has asked him to come and say. But but in the same statement that we all read, this in a sandwich with regards to Kweku not telling Asamwajan to come out to say uh, he's handling the but, but, to the day you. but then again, we, after that is why we have interviews after we read statements, Charles, so that we can fish for more information. Ose is on the line from Kumasi. Thanks very much for calling, Charles. Good morning, Ose. Good morning. Uh, Ose, what do you think? Um, is this reason enough for Asamojan to step aside? Uh, I'm okay. I think Asamojan's PR is not helping him at all. If, as a person and as a player, he has given his best to the country. I think what Akwesiapia was trying to do was to try to manage him off the stage. But if you think you are not ready to leave, then people will force you to leave. It coming out and feeling aggrieved and that kind of stuff wouldn't help you. You 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 have the country in your image, the best capacity that you can give. But if at, at this point in time, the the um the trick which means that you captain the team will be a a, a weak link. In the team, then obviously he has to make that decision for you. But why leave the team? Why leave the team um, totally? Because you still wanted to take him to, to yes, Egypt, but that just is, not as that is, the, that is the regrettable part of it. If you if you think it, 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 that the announcement should have come from a Samoan earlier, but for the PL team to come and even come with other excuses as to why. I mean, he is being stripped of the captaincy and that kind of stuff. But you know, it's never here on there. Even if it's true, mm. then I think Akwesiapia has been very diplomatic about it. Thank you very much, Charles, for calling. Um, we'll stay in Kumasi because Kwating wants to make a point. Good morning, Kwating. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Kwating, I'm getting some feedback from your end. Please turn off your radio. Oh, okay. Um, just a minute. Good. Get better now. Uh, you, you go ahead. It's 24 minutes past 8. Kwasi, I want to know from you, do you think Asamwajan has given us enough reason to step aside? I mean, we're all Ghanaians. And are you confident in his absence that we can win Egypt? I think what Asamwajan has done is really, really laudable. In fact, he has proven that he's genuine. He doesn't hide his feelings. He's being honest. He doesn't want to have any grudges within him whilst he's at a tournament. And for me, I think what he has done, he should be commended for it. Rather, Akwesiata should bow down his head in shame in that he has really betrayed Asamwajan. Now, on the in principle, you, Akwesiata, suffered from similar fate during your time with the Ayus. We heard the stories in the dressing room, the factions and all that. Now you are choosing to go behind one of the factions or satisfy one of the factions. Now, if you were saying this in principle, that maybe as someone now, you are not playing better, you are, you are you're having issues, so I'm not taking you to the tournament at all. That is a different game altogether. Now, the best thing for Kwesiopia to do to rally some of us behind his team will be that he gets a neutral person in the person of Tepate to captain the team. If we should see Ayu wear the armband, my brother, our prayers will be for the opposition team. I trust me.
and for me oh, 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 say, oh, say, let, let, let's it's still our country you see yeah, let, let's, be <laughs> let's be patriotic let's be patriotic kwabna is calling from sakumono <laughs> people are smiling when i say me that statement uh, kwabna good morning hi good morning great uh, so what's your answer um do you think the reason asamajan gave is enough i think asamajan has taken the right decision okay. because if they had for all his contributions to Ghana soccer, mm. for his uh, what is the name and the fame he brought to us, and for him to be to be spoken to that way to relinquish his ban for his deputy, I think it is wrong. My my question is why um, why would Kofi take such a decision at this crucial time? We are just 31 days to the tournament. Why would you bring such disunity in the team? And if the reason that um, you guys have uh, are deducing that we got that um, decision from the prophet, then that is so wrong. It is so wrong for us to, uh, for a team decision to be pressed upon or to be decided by a prophet. No, so so we, we didn't say that he got it from it's, a prophet. It was no, Kweku. It's, it's, it's said it was Kweku. said Yes, Kweku referred to that. Yes, yes. Yes. And I'm saying that it is wrong on Kweku appears as to, to do that. Let's respect Asamadian and let's appreciate him for the contribution he's made mm. for mm. Ghana soccer. And mm. I think that it would have been the best item on the case for him to have um, resigned or to have completed or brought his discussion to an end with this last game when he's made to captain the team. This guy has brought a lot of Ghana to this country. When we least expected it, he really took us far. And we, I think that he should have been respected. I respect him for the decision too. Mm. I think it's honor if I've taken the decision to respect his offer. He didn't want to be played that way. I think that he, he called the coaches block and he plays a key role and he should be respected. Mm. I don't think it was right for Kutiapia to call him. If that decision was for Kutiapia to, then I don't ask for Kutiapia for this and he is bringing the team to the team. And I cannot see the team go far with such and such the decision. I don't see the team go far this year. And you can test it on the ground as well. A lot of Ghanaians do not have confidence and hope that this team will take us. Well, we we'll, would have to do those checks on the ground first, like you, like you asked me to. Thank you very much for your call. Sami from East Ligon has been on the line for a minute. Good morning, Sami. Hi, good morning. Great. So, uh, you think the reason is good enough? It's not good enough. I think we said that it's a bad job. You don't treat these things this way. You could have done it in a simple way. Why tell it to come along to public? It doesn't make sense to me. Now there's a problem in the team. They cannot take DB as a captain. It won't work. Wow. If you take a new person, that's it. Otherwise, okay. it won't work because now there's fashion. Two houses fighting against them, they will not stand. That's what was that. Interesting. But you guys are not mentioning how this might create another faction if a third person is named as captain. That could also create another faction with, uh, you know, if indeed this DDIU uh, business exists. Nana say is also on the line. Good morning, Nana. Good morning, Nana. Good morning, Nana. Hey, Nana, please turn off your radio. Um, if you have done that, I'm going to turn uh, the dial on, unfortunately. Nana will say, please turn off the radio. I can hear myself on the other line. But which other striker can step in in this short notice, um, Sami? Well, because um, he has a pool. Within the two years of... Yeah, within the two years, he's been in the helm of affairs. He has a pool. He's called a lot of players. Um any the, names? Um, there is an entry guy in Egypt. Um, he's John played, Entry. John Entry. There is a... A Kuban. A Kuban. A Kuban is going. A Kuban is going. A Kuban, I know. Go he's, to already going. he's already going. Um, my heart is around. There are the under 20, the Olympic team that played, the qualifiers. They you can are look the, through. They, yeah, you can look through. I mean, you can look through. But this issue, this, this issue. No, but you see, I'm saying that as a more per his experience, mm -hmm. and what on the evidence of he has done before, you know, he, he yeah. has it. I remember when we were going with Sule Muntari to the last World Cup where he scored that goal. Oh, oops, Richard is on the line. Pardon me. Richard, I made you stand on the line. He's still on the line for a minute. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Great. I hope you don't force me for staying on for too long. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I understand the business. <laughs> so, so, what's the case? Do you think that someone has given a good enough reason for you as a Ghanaian? Well, I think... It's an elimination by rough practice by Kusiapia. He can't boldly tell us more than that. Guy, we cannot take you to the tournament because of your performance of late. And that he's using this tactics for Samojan to drop himself. I think that if we should go for any captain 
apart from Asamoyan, it shouldn't be the you because the Asamoyan fashion, the DIU fashion, is still in the team. And it will go a long way to affect the team if I could see appears to go ahead. Hmm. Thank you very much for um, contributing to the con to the conversation. My last call, oh, unfortunately, I've lost Kofi from Kumase. Um, I'm going to begin wrapping up now with my guests in the studio. Kweku, is there any possibility, you spoke it as someone, is there any possibility that he'll change his mind? Uh, I don't foresee anything like that. I, I don't know what will come up after today, but as of yesterday, his position was unchanged and uh, he has stated it, that his love for the national team is now vanished. If, for instance... He was called back as captain. No, 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 no. I would not advise him to go back to the team mm. with mm. what he has done. Why? Why are you coming? Now you are being given the captaincy so you come back. You understand? It will create a lot more problems for him in the team. You understand? It means that it's all about you, not about us as a team, not about our interests as, yeah. a, as, a, as a state. You, you know? know? They're, they're, so they're, that's why I think, yes, he... I don't expect him to be happy after seven years of being a captain for the national team. All of a sudden, your reign comes to an end in some wishy wishy circumstances, yeah. manner. Mm. But I think you should have exercised some restraint in bringing out the statement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe there would have been an option for him to rectify things with the coaching squad. But um, <laughs> I, I, I want to remember as far back. As okay, I have Patrick from La Paz. Okay, let me take Patrick from La Paz before I go on. Good morning, Patrick. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. How are you? I am blessed. How are you? Fine, thanks. So, do you think Asamojan has made a good move? Daniel, before I answer that question, I must say I'm very disappointed this morning. Now, we have just a few days or few weeks to the tournament, and this is what we are hearing. So, what is the motive of the coach? Is he trying to disintegrate this team or he's trying to unite the team? Well, for me, the issue is that this is just a ploy actually to select a different captain for the Black Stars. And it is quite shocking. Most of you are not seeing through this plan. And Pate is the obvious choice. I mean, for obvious reasons, we all know. If Asamojan is taking this decision, I go with him. I, I am satisfied with this decision because he has been stabbed in the back by the same coach whom he fought for whom he spent his money on not him personally but with the team when it came to difficulties and he fought to defend so for me it's as simple as that he is hurt let's allow him to take his decision but I am quite disappointed in the coach for starting as someone in the back and the ploy is this the party should be or will be the next captain of the Black Stars. And that is my take. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. Um, so some conspiracy theory being thrown in there, a ploy to bring in another person as captain. Yes, yeah, so um, that's what I'm saying. If you are the leader uh -huh. of the team, you want to change the leadership or the leadership direction of the team, come out and make a statement. You know, trying to somebody suggested that he was managing the person out in a very nice way, but the repercussions of this um, have not been good. And Kwesi, Kwesi, I think in his mind, it was, it's, it's about unity. I've heard Pate make a, and he granted an interview and said that they need unity in the team to make the impact we all expect. So I'm saying, yes. Um, Kwesi Apia should have found a, a different way in managing this matter. How would you have managed this? I mean, you are a manager. You, you have um, some big egos that you manage. What, 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 whatever, whatever factors or considerations he has put in place to come to this point. If I had this same, I'm not privy to all this uh -huh. information uh -huh. he has or what in his mind. Don't I, I don't want to believe it's his sole decision because he's working with Ibrahim Tanku, mm -hmm. Stephen Apia, who himself um, was a fantastic national captain, my best national captain of all time mm. for the senior national team, mm. Stephen Tonado Apia, mm. personally. 
Mm. You know, no, he he was in that golden era, wasn't he? That's right. Yeah, with all those big boys around him, he, he yeah. managed to. He but managed. Um, that's for another day. So I'm saying that I would have come out to say that I want to change the direction, Stephen. Um, Asamoah, you are no more my captain. Kwejo Mensa is my captain. The uh, day you are no more, but now he wants to give the thing to the day are you, from what I know. Interesting, and I will not. You see, we shouldn't fault him for giving it to the day. He knows why, but the the mood, the, the, the mood, how the where manner he's so, so, handling so this matter <laughs> has been the issue. Okay, uh, I, I wanted to get a thoughts from Kukude, but we'll be joined on the phone lines by CK Akono, former Black Stars captain, uh, former coach of second D11 wise. I was in Takwa when he when he held that job. And he's the current Good morning, uh, CK Akono. Good morning. Hope all is well. My God, good, sir. You did it. Yourself. God is good. Before okay. you before you directly comment on this matter, how key is that role of Black Stars captain? Well, it, it, it depends. It's key. It's key because out of how many people if you've been uh, asked to be the leader of the team, of the national team, then you should be proud of yourself. It means that you've done something to the top and you've achieved something. So it, 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 it's a big but it depends on how the individual sees it. And when, when you were captain, did you ever have a, a fracas with your coach? How was that managed, the player captain coach relations vis a vis the other team members? Well, I think. Uh, um, there were always issues, you know, but how we dealt with it was, was, was a problem. And I believe that my time at the before was a very positive uh, assistant. Who we almost every day talk discuss about the team and make sure things go uh, well for us. Okay, uh, now to this issue specifically. You, you are still a, a, a very much in the football space. Uh, did you hear anything uh, like with Asamoah between Asamoah Jan, Kwesia Pia, and we are hearing other members of the team who could be captain? No, I've not heard of anything. I just read a statement issued mm. by mm. captain mm. yesterday. It was a surprise to me and I'm sure for a lot of people as well. So having read the statement, how do you react? Well, I... I, I can only signal out that the, the, the guy, John, is hurt, feel betrayed, disappointed, and, and so forth. But I, I think this could, could have been done, or we could have saved the situation. One, how the whole thing was communicated to him, and also the people around him, if they had, uh, you know, helped him in, in, in talking to him to calm him down, uh, he wouldn't have uh, written a. Uh, so you, so you feel that Kwesia Pia should have calmed Asamwajan down? No, you see, I, I, I don't know what he told him. I don't know how it was, it was, the whole thing was communicated to him. So I can't really be, uh, blame the coach. However, if it has been done in a, in a, in a, in a positive way, positive way in the sense that probably only one or two people, it's been communicated sat him down and talk to him and advise him on, on this issue because then he wouldn't, he wouldn't write the, the, the letter. He would have accepted, move with the team and not necessarily be in the captain. You know, he could be part of the team without being the captain. Okay. Now, the fact that he came out with a letter, uh, I, I felt somebody who's, who's hurt, uh, very emotional, but there was something he said within the, uh, thing in the context where if he's not going to be the leader of the team, then he's, he's out. Mm -hmm. That is where I have my issues uh, with him. Because the question is, is he playing as, as a leader for patriotism or is playing for the, the band? And so, you see... I think Kweku's point, speaking for him, is that it's the mode of communication. It's how exactly. the issue was handled and not specifically exactly. his captaincy exactly. or not. Yes, exactly. And, and that is where I, I, I come in by saying that how was it communicated to him? Because most of the mm. time, we do such mistakes. I, I take my, myself as a person now. I'm an example to, to that. At a time when I was dropped, I wanted to be part of the team. 
So, therefore, if it was communicated to me very well, where you could be part of the team, but you're not the captain, you're not the captain anymore, it could be this, it could be that. Mm. I can understand because my, my, my passion, my reason was to serve the country, not to, you know, and I could mm. serve the country in so many different ways. Mm. But because it was not communicated to me, I felt hurt. I spoke badly about certain people, you know, because of the way they handled the situation. And Kufour rescued me by coming out with his uh, point of view. Because he asked them, have you communicated it to Tiki? Have you told Tiki? Because he was then the next captain. And he said, you shouldn't mind. He said, you shouldn't, you know. So, so he said, no. If that is the situation, no. Because I was always in communicati uh, communication with him concerning the team. We were in Germany. He was with uh, uh, Bayern. I was with Wolfsburg, you know. So the way the whole thing was communicated to Jan, somebody who has served this country with all his heart, with all his abilities, he's made history with his with his team. He's made history with, with what he's done. I think it could be communicated. We could have done better in a way. Again, I don't know if the whole thing was communicated to him. But from the look of it, from the way he's speaking, the letter, you can see clearly that uh, there's been an attorney somewhere and it seems to hurt. And that is why he's mm. also was able to come out with it. Because again, the president told him to help some of the encourage them. And, and again, uh, Apia was with them, with us during 2020 World Cup. He was not a captain, was he? He was, he was always coming from the bench and all those things. So this kind of thing has, has been done before. Why couldn't we have done, done it? Maybe it was also done, uh, spoken to, 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 from the look of the, the informant, how, again, it was communicated to him. He felt uh, betrayed and hurt, and he, he had to come out with this. Mm. I, I believe he could, could have been... Uh, he could have been in a different situation. So, CK, moving forward, what can we do now? What should we do now? Well, there's something. I mean, you have to plan and view and we have to support him. Okay? Well, but what am I saying? Uh, hello? Um, unfortunately, we are not getting. Hello? The line with CK Akono is very, very unclear now. But I think it's clear now with the communication from Kweku and CK that it seems to be the end of an era. And we say this to our Samwajan. Did I disappoint you or let you down? Oh, this is your song somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to at least use you and Enigua. We send a delegation to talk to us. Anyway, Charlie, my, my, my final words. The timing of this is very unfortunate. Um, what I'm telling us, Samoyan, is that in other endeavors going forward, when you are angry, when you are hurt, you don't take such critical decisions. You need to take your time and go through a process to say this because he's let a lot of fans or a lot of uh, uh, Ghanaians down by this decision. The coach had has not been able to manage this issue well and uh, it's unfortunate we may not be able to uh, bring him back to the team probably while you are playing um, this song for a Samoyan this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm happy I've been with you this morning, <laughs> but I am sad. Mm, I am, mm, I am mm. sad. I, I'm not I, going to see Asamojan in Egypt. I know he has something mm. that he could have contributed something because um, he's going in my, he, 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 at points where he was not f uh, well. 
during tournament situations. He so came through. One of I these mean... days, I'll tell you a story about Seku Fortu. We were in Burkina Faso. I said oh, had okay. his hand tied to his 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 body. He still played. Wow. People have paid and sacrificed as footballers for the national wow. team. We should manage them well. You see, I'll, if the experts say it cannot be done, we should change it. Good morning. Mm. Good morning. Um, Sami Yurinchi. Live without you. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> you, you, you've done that already. But, uh, Dazi, um, we are talking about um, a player who has scored 51 goals for the national team. A player who is the all time scorer as far as the FIFA World Cup is uh, concerned. A player who wanted to end up the career in very, I mean, glamorous way. Who needs glorification? Mm. In fact, in the history of the Blasters, whether we like it or not, Asamojan replaces Asamojan. So, at this juncture, Oh, what he's telling Ghanaians is that uh, he thanked them for the support they gave him while he mm. was playing. And the first gentleman of the land, Nana Dudan uh, the journalist and everybody who made his career a success in Ghana. At this juncture, that is our message. Thank you very much, Kweko Bing, for um, joining us this morning. So this is where we wrap up our conversation. Okay, so Gary Al Smith is still on the line. Okay, unfortunately, he's not. Right. Um, how about we don't make this a sad goodbye? How about we celebrate? Castro again, featuring Baby Jet, Baby Jet. If you care, you are doing this video. But thank you, I don't be down the edge. Be down, be down, be here. We are back on, oh no. That's where you're back on, oh no. We are back on, oh no. That's where you're back on, oh no.